Hello. For those of you on the school holidays, it looks like Wednesday is going to be the inside day, so think of it already. Maybe the board games, the books, something like that, as the weather system works its way. But slightly drier weather just to finish off the week, just a bit of a hint. But uh, certainly some grey skies were the scene across the west coast. That was all down to this fairly large swathe of cloud. You can see the lumps of colour already picking up the rain on the radar there. It's a complex looking weather system. You see the lumpy stuff in the cloud. That's the main, main meat of the moisture piling into the west coast. And with that working in, no surprise, we still have our rain mornings for the west coast over the course of the night into the first part of tomorrow but then just a heads up for parts of the north island just on a watch but coromandel western bay of plenty as the air of rain and a bit of subtropical moisture gets into the mix it does look like a bit plate of spaghetti but there's the main area of heavy rain piling into the west coast tonight first part of tomorrow then as that moves north see the feed coming way down from really from up north that works in so it really changes it across the north island some heavy bursts of rain and all notice the stronger winds that all eases through and a few little troughs sneak their way into the west coast. So it's a, it's a wet, sort of yucky day. Here's the North Island starting off OK. Patchy rain to western areas. It's as you go into the afternoon we bring in the rain. Heavy at times, maybe thundery to the far north. And those winds, stronger winds, move their way east too. Slightly different over the South Island. The rain on the front moves east through the day and north. So what is heavy burst? That clears its way away. There's your second trough. But in between, there will be some drier spots as well. So you'll start off with probably just a few spots of rain to many southern areas. Then as that front moves through, the winds are going to ease and then drying out and brightening up in some spots. Different story on the west coast. Heavy bursts of rain, stronger winds. Then the front comes through. There's your second trough. Maybe some thunder with that. And notice temperatures, mild 12, 13s. To the east coast, you'll see a few spots of rain early on down south in the afternoon and the evening for spots further north. Otherwise, you're OK. 12s and 13s, winds easing back too. Whereas from spots from, say, the lower North Island to Taranaki, you'll see rain coming and going. But by the afternoon, could turn heavy to a New Plymouth and 14 for you as the main front and all its meat and bones work in. Increasing cloud to eastern areas. By the afternoon, we're bringing in the rain. That will spread into most of the eastern parts of the North Island and those northeasterly strengthen as well. Patchy rain to start the day over the central plateau, eastern bay. That becomes persistent and heavy by the end of the day as well as our front works in. And a similar as well across the many northern locations, Fitiang to Kaitai. There you can just see it, the whole area of rain working through, turning showery behind it as your uh, late afternoon works its way in. Now, for Dunedin, here's how it looks for the course of the day. Just a few spots of rain front is gone. Northerly winds ease back, getting up to 13, and otherwise drier as you go into the later parts of the day. Pretty similar for Christchurch. Through the morning, you have a few spots of rain with a front. Winds ease back. Afternoon is looking OK. Drier, brighter. Wellington, just keep that raincoat handy. You can see the rain coming and going. Strong northerlies, but of course, with the flow a bit more north-northeast than north-northwest, it's not howling. It's just a windy day in Wellington for you, 14. And further north for Hamilton, You've got the patchy rain coming in through the morning. That turns heavy and persistent for the afternoon. Pretty gusty wind as well. It's a yucky day. And for Toronga, you'll be looking at the rain coming in through the morning, just patchy to start with. The afternoon, you've got the heavy bursts of rain. And you are on a watch as well, so just keep an eye. It's a yucky, wet old day. 15, Auckland 2. Spells of rain for the first part of the day. That turns heavy for the afternoon. Evening commute home is a bit of a wet one. 15. And as far as the next few days, look at this. Front clears its way away through the course of the day on Thursday and it's improving just some leftover showers one little weak front down to the far south as you go into the course of Friday that's the day where it's sort of you can finally uh, catch up with the outdoor plans for the kids improving to many areas one front down to the far south and then you see all the weather system just gathering almost like gathering around the campfire you say what's going on Saturday just a bit of a heads up that of course spreads in over the north Thunder, so that's a wet old thing but at the same time there's some colder air dropping the snow level down to a few hundred meters and also just watch some of the higher routes just it's early but the higher routes of the north island maybe you're traveling home place like the desert road just watch for maybe turning wintry but that's the thing clearing away to finish off the school holidays quick peek at things for australia you can see cold down to the southeast further west it's looking fine and if you go to the pacific still take your pick they're all looking pretty good upper 20s for many of these spots so for i think for the most part it's the raincoats it's the board games tomorrow but as you go to the end of the week quieter but that saturday looks a bit uh, wet and yucky as well. Come around and entertain my kids for the school holidays, is that right, Dan? <laughs> we'll have a puppet show or something. <laughs> yeah, how about that, guys?